So today, I want to talk a little bit about transferable skills. And I want to relate that in particular to choosing new repertoire for students to learn. I'm going to start with another book though. <laughs> Here we go. And this one's called Intelligent Music Teaching. And it's by a fabulous American educator called Robert Duke. Now, it's uh, quite, it's not a big book, but it is absolutely packed with gems. And it takes a bit of reading because it's so packed with wonderful ideas. I'm actually going to go to the end of the book because at the end he talks about transferable skills in a chapter called transfer and he's really saying that for people who um, demonstrate intelligence and capability it's like us um, we haven't been taught every single little thing of what to do when we uh, have been learning the piano instead um, we've been taught some core principles it's been made really explicit what those core principles are. And then we've been shown how to apply those core principles. And then we've been encouraged to use those core principles in new situations. Now, I've been using this idea um, of transferability of core principles, core skills, um, with my students and what I have here is I have a list and this is for a student I've got this afternoon she's what I call intermediate two so sort of grade four grade five type of thing and um, I made a list of from the piano framework this is of some of the skills that she needs to develop and one of those is the use of consistent fingering in tricky passages so we know at this kind of level that you know, there is some more tricky passages coming up, especially Baroque music, and that actually to get that fingering absolutely secure and be absolutely consistent with it every time you play it is a really important tiny step in moving forward to be able to play more demanding music. So what I've done, and again, this is something slightly different for me, but um, she's not going to learn a whole piece. Instead, I've selected a small part of um, a handle aria and just the first eight bars that's all but it has got some tricky fingering and that's been her uh, one of her assignments one of her tasks for the last two weeks is to learn this particularly the right hand because it's full of semiquavers and it's full of semiquavers moving downwards like this so it does exemplify this tricky fingering and then because I know that that is what is is under under uh, consolidation at the moment, that is something then I will take forward with her for when she learns her next piece. Now, I will choose repertoire with these transferable skills in mind, these core skills. So my students do choose repertoire sometimes, but then other times I will actually choose them. So it's not a question of, well, which piece do you like? And here's a choice of three. I might do that, but I know exactly what is in each of those three pieces. And I know what are the core skills that each one could develop. So have a look at the pieces you are currently teaching to your students this afternoon or maybe in the week coming up and look at them afresh. Look at them for the core skills they are teaching you are going to teach them. And remember, these are tiny, tiny little steps we're talking about here. It's not, oh, I'm going to teach them about Baroque music. That is not a core cool skill. And if you want to find out more about the difference between skills and concepts and exactly what a skill is, there is a blog around and I will make sure I link it. Uh, in fact, I think I've got it here, probably. I don't know. Um, I will share it anyhow. Um, because this idea of knowing what the skills are that a piece teaches will help that student to learn and then really going on to developing it will transform, I have to say, both your teaching and the learning of your students as well. And we don't pay enough attention to it as piano teachers, this idea of transferable skills, skills that they're using in this piece 
that they're going to need later on in another piece. I think we've all had this experience, haven't we? That you think, oh, we've done, we've done six, eight time. And now you go to a new six, eight piece and they haven't got the foggiest. So that's uh, uh, an example of non-transferable skills. Yeah, that's something where the skill of six, eight, the concept of six, eight actually hasn't been internalized by the student. So you've got to teach it all again different way of thinking about things really here. Now some pieces actually do this for you. I'm just going to pick out a couple of books that I have on my shelves that not many books do this but one of them in particular um, and bravo Victoria Proudler for doing this is um, in the Victoria Proudler series Piano Grades Ago and this is her latest one and there is a super skill identified for every single one so I've just opened up here Midnight Manor and the super skill is hand crossing and all the three books in her series do that. So that's, you know, that's only one little super skill. But if you want to develop hand crossing, there you go. She told you what to do. Uh, that piece will do it. The other book that I know of that does this is the wonderful Her Story by Karen Marshall. And each and every piece at the top tells you what the features are. So this one is one of my favorites called June. And um, the skills uh, that you could develop, you wouldn't necessarily do all of these, but it could be chord voicing, could be part playing, could be articulation, phrasing or pedaling. Yeah. So some of these books are wonderful at helping you decide what the super skill is or the skill is um, and what that transferable skill is. Others, and I suggest you have a look at those to kind of get the right idea, but with most books, you need to look at it yourself. You need to decide what are the core skills, and then you need to make sure that that's what you focus on in that piece and in future pieces. Keep that thread of those core skills going. Well, transferability of skills, really important, as I say, and I hope that's given you a bit of food for thought. Go and have a look at that music that you're going to be teaching later. Thanks for listening and bye for now.